Hey, Steve and, and Marcus. Marcus. We are the, the RV, RV Ninjas. Ninjas. We're here in Brownfield, Texas to take a look at the best little bunkhouse in Texas. I like the best little bunkhouse in Texas. Springdale 18BH, 1800 BH, excuse me. 1800 Springdale Classic, single axle. I mean, just a great little trailer. You know, most of these trailers don't even have a full pass through. You know, you look at here, you got your key for you. I don't have a key today. I got a key. Awning with uh, LED lighting up against the body. So if the awning is out, you got lights. If the awning is in, you got lights. Full pass through all the way to the other side. Wow. Most of them stop halfway. I like that awning too. I like uh, the LEDs. Yeah, we already talked about the yeah, lights. Um, what, is, what is this called, this type of awning? Well, you know, the great thing I like about this type of awning right here is I can do this. I can adjust the pitch. Okay. So it okay. is electric. It does come out. Now, I will tell you what it's called in West Texas. It's called put it up when the wind blows. That's what it's called in West Texas. Bumper storage for your sewer hose. Spare tire. Input if you want to get hooked up to satellite or cable at a campground. This, I know you don't like these, markers. No, I cannot stand the tankless water heaters. You know, but I, I tell you one thing I noticed on this one. It's got great back levelizers. Yeah, but those water heaters, man, they're awesome. Oh, they are. 30 minute shower, you're on. You know, but you know, most of these things, they just use the back levelers or stabilizers and they use the front tongue deck, but I've got front stabilizers as well. Oh, okay. So I got them on both sides. A little uh, input if in case you want to have a, a solar trickle charger Additional on there. solar because I already have a 200 watt solar panel on top. Are you serious? I'm serious about that. Okay. Man, I'm gonna tell you what, Steve. This is bigger than my first apartment in New York City. This is great. Let me look at this. Full size queen, queen bed. That's a queen bed. Full queen bed, though. I'm not talking about RV queen. Look at this. I can stretch all the way out here. Jeez. So I got a nice queen bed. I got overhead storage, so you can fold everything up. I've got a hanging wardrobe area there. A lot of minis don't have a hanging wardrobe. No, most of them just do just the shelf, and that's it. And let me guess, there's storage under the bed. There is storage under the bed. I mean, it's not just a little storage either. Look at that. Lift that thing all the way up. Yeah, a lot of storage. I might put a lot of stuff underneath there. But I also have storage under both seats. So I can come over here. Okay. Put my stuff I don't use on and, a regular this basis. Is, this, this turns into a bed, doesn't it? That will drop down and make a bed. And even at 6'1", I can sleep on that. And what about that? I Watch this. You know, everybody thinks these are itty-bitty. I'm a big boy, Okay. Look at that. I got all so, kinds of room. So this one can actually sleep up to six people if I'm counting I got, right. Yep. Lights, chargers, anything I want. You know, I'm a little scared of heights, so I'm not going to use the top bunk. I'll use the bottom bunk. Looks nice like overhead storage. Look at that. Solid. Solid wood doors. Not uh, particle board with uh, wallpaper on it. And, and glued and screwed. So we're not, we're not. Uh, so we got, we got the staples. storage over here as well. Yep. You got a two burner cooktop. You've got a light, you got a fan. You got, you got storage under your sink. Oh yeah. That's quite a bit of storage. You know, we got a little trailer here, but we don't scrimp on storage. I got storage everywhere. And we got magnets to keep these drawers closed. Yes. Nice 3.3 .3 cubic foot fridge and freezer combination. Oh yeah, most of, a lot don't of minis even don't have, have freezers. freezer. Yeah, freezer. Microwave. High point microwave. Additional storage. Gotta have the storage. What What's else back you there? Because you don't have a bathroom in one of these, do you? No, this is the dressing room, sir. It's the three-piece dressing room with a full shower, sink, toilet, wow. tankless water heater control. Tankless hot water heater to go along with that uh, ability to take that 30-minute shower. If this was a six-gallon, you'd be taking a five to ten-minute shower max. At max, at max. But I'm going to tell you what, all this rolled into a package that comes in... 3,100 pounds in weight? 3,100 pounds. Eight foot wide, it's not a skinny little narrow trailer. It's so it's not a seven foot wide, it's no. an eight foot wide. Eight foot wide. And all comes in at a bargain price. I mean, why would you not come out here this weekend? I mean, it is the last weekend of the month. We're trying to get this done. We've got some deals going, it's crazy. Fall has just started. What a great time to camp in Texas. I mean, it's hot today. It's all the way up to 89 degrees. But, but what do we got up there? A 15,000 BTU AC. And we just fired this up right before we walked in here and well, it's already comfortable. And I'm already starting to grow hair on my legs because it's so cold in here. That's what I'm telling you. 
But hey, folks, listen, we appreciate you taking the time to share just a few minutes with us to show you a little bit about this trader. I'm Marcus. I'm Steve. And together we are the, the RV, RV Ninjas. Ninjas.